Read our interactive system teaching video. First step, after connecting the radar, you need to modify the IP address. In the lower right corner of the network displays, right-click to open the network sharing center. This item is the IP address of the radar. Modify IP4. Change to an IP address in the 192.168.0 segment. Change the gateway to 0 0.1. IP setting completed. Let's check if the radar can be connected. Type CMD. Ping to the radar IP 192.168.0.10. Then we now prove that the radar is well connected. Then turn off the computer's firewall. In the control panel, Windows Defender. Both will be adjusted to this state. Turn off, tune to this. Then click OK to save. Next, we enter the software installation. Then install the radar. Install download drive. The installation is complete. Prepare to install radar system. Other English systems will default to the English option. Then install D drive by default. Before that, we have to check whether the computer has a D drive. If there is no D drive, here to be modified to. The first one to modify his drive letter. To ensure normal installation. Click to open the radar system. Click online to activate. Click to open device manager. Click add to add waterproof Hawkeye by default. I don't want to call it anything. I want to call it or any number. The IP remains unchanged at 0 0.10. Click OK in the lower right corner to exit safe. We see that the radar is connected. We can put our hands in this area, then detect whether a bit is generated. When we don't need with such a large detection area, we can adjust its maximum detection distance. The distance between it and its largest point. Make sure it's a little bit under normal circumstances. The first step for us to be more accurate. Set the induction area first. Set as the induction zone button here. Then click start. We first put it in the lower left corner. You can drag the radar interface to find the position of my hand. Hand can make a fist directly. Then click Confirm to put it. Find the other side at the same time. The rightmost circle on the right. 
then the same click to confirm and put it. The sensing area can be slightly larger, but don't get in. Then click again to confirm and put it. Setting the induction area is complete. Enter the second step of calibration. Then calibrate. Then select the calibration option. Can be seen on our screen. Now produces four points. First of all, we are within the green circle. Find the first point. We can use a ladder on a stool. Then make sure the arm is vertical. Place at the center of a circle. Arm vertical. Click the red cursor with the mouse. The center of the white spot. Then click to confirm the first point and place it. Enter the second point below. It will automatically turn green. Scene. Make a fist and place it vertically in the center of the wall circle. Point in the middle of the white dot. Click to confirm and put. Third point. When we order, make sure your arms are vertical. Put on the wall. Center of circle. Click to confirm and put. Then the calibration is complete. After the leader is finished, we can have a good detection method. Find the radar system in the lower right corner. After clicking Quasi Interface, if I call Quasi Normal, my hand will follow my placement. It will generate a color tile. This will verify that my calibration is correct. Then we open an effect to test. In the play plan, click add. After calibration, the most important step is to save. Bottom right corner. Click on the radar system to exit. Exit will save. 